So we just received firmware update. Well, it's 8.0, but it's flavor 2.42.40. This was updated from 2.40.41. So let's see what the changes are. Now it does say new enhancements 8.0. There are multiple improvements to the USB listening experience. You can now use search to quickly find a song, artist, or album on your USB. Or use alphabetical index to select music from long lists. Songs in the various artist in the artist's various views are now grouped by album, particularly convenient with artists with multiple albums. Performance has also been improved including faster scrolling of lists and faster USB loading when you return to your vehicle. Uh, for the most part, most of this was all stuff that they broke when they released 8.0, so they're basically giving us back mostly the functionality we had previously. So let's load up uh, USB, folders, music, Let's do artists. Um, I can't say those did load considerably. Scroll, scrolling is better. Um, let's go to <laughs> something that I am not going to get. There we go. Uh, okay, something I'm not going to get copyright striked against. So, we have the scrolling back. They gave us back the much smaller and harder to read, uh, but still it's back the alphabetical selection, so you can select... Oh, there we go. So, thank God that's back. Let's see any changes here. No. So... Still don't really care for that, but it's easier than trying to go use anything else. Now, let's see. Um, other users are reporting that this also fixes some of the XM satellite selections. Uh, specifically, since I don't have XM, I can't comment too much on that. Um, it has sped up considerably load time with USB drives that have uh, large quantities of, of uh, songs on them. Uh, let's see. Reports are also saying, and I can't demonstrate this because I'll get copyright strikes, the reports are also saying uh, the problem with streaming audio cutting out um, and skipping uh, has been remedied mostly um, reports are back that album grouping works and presets cleanly by straw by song uh, voice and text search now return USB results so if you were to uh, search for a straw a song uh, via, you know, uh, you press the uh, little button here. Uh, let's see, let's play. Play Thunderstruck. I got it muted. But it's actually playing Thunderstruck off my USB drive. Because if I remove the USB drive, there we go. Now let's do it again. Play Thunderstruck. You can see it uh, stopped the playing. When... There we go. Now it's playing from Slacker. Let's put my USB drive back in. Wait for it to pop up over here. And boom, boom, right back.
so um, that seems to have been improved considerably uh, usually after reinserting the drive or if the car has been in sleep mode you'd have to go through and wait and wait and wait uh, what it should do is what most things do when after it scans a drive is create just a little index file a little text index file is all it needs and it can update that on the fly uh, so that is the improvements that we know of uh, we're sure that there's probably underlying improvements that we don't know of. Otherwise, the rest of the release notes are just uh, pretty much the standard 8.0 release notes. And, um, and, uh, and slightly modified to reflect uh, the changes. Um, and also the owner's manual, the digital version of the owner's manual has been updated as well. Um, in terms of drivability, uh, reports from other drivers are coming back saying that um, Autopilot acts like a complete drunk for about the first 24 to 48 hours after the update. Um, theories, and I can't confirm this at all, uh, one theory was that uh, in order to make room for updates, it got rid of all the downloaded uh, fleet learning information so it's basically going to start from scratch and have to start downloading all that again so we're going to take off now and go vote for the next POTS smile cheese